It does sound like pretty good games. But for now, we've got Carlson versus Cone in Losers Round 3. In a Losers Round 3. Interesting to see how this goes. Yeah, for one person, their dream of taking RVS2 is going to be over. And for the other one, they managed to hold on for at least another round. Fountain of Dreams. Uh, I know it's a good chic stage against certain characters because those platforms are so good for her tilt. I'm not sure how that works against Peach though because she's just too floaty and obviously that float mechanic is going to keep her alive a lot. Yeah, the Peach floating of course will give her a slight upper hand, in, with, especially if those platforms move in such a way that doesn't benefit she. Yeah. She can't recover from that as easy as Peach would be able to in that uh, situation. Yeah. And obviously Peach is going to be able to make advantage of those platforms as well. Of course for the golf club. <laughs> Naturally, yeah. She doesn't quite hit it. Uh, so far, Cones has been doing a decent job of uh, keeping the gap closed and trying to make sure that she can't pull too many turnips. As I say that, she a bunch of turnips. She yeah. a bunch of turnips. Was that moonwalking? I can't even tell. They maintain a good stage control. They're really like it's basically like keeping Peach in in her place. Like yeah. Oh, oh as what? you say, that misses the ledge grab. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah. It also got a turnip thrown off her for good measure. Gets to the ledge with that umbrella. I hate trying to edge guard that umbrella. It's so annoying because if you hit them wrong, they end up going back and up, so they get, it helps them get back easier. Yeah. Sometimes it's best to just leave them to get to the edge. Try and punish them on the landing. Exactly. The forward air will even up the stocks. I think this is probably the most even game we've had on this floor. Yeah, it's been pretty one-sided for the most part from what I've been watching. Yeah, but these ones are going to be... Like, I couldn't tell you who's going to win this one. Just looking at the characters in the stage, I would give the matchup to Peach. But I'm not yeah. going to count Cone out. And he's been, play he's been playing Peach a lot today, so he's got the practice in that matchup that he would need. Yeah, but like you say, the uh, Sheik Peach matchup isn't great for Sheik. Not at all. Especially where the stage is considered. Yeah, can't really make use of Crouch Castle at all. That's a lot of turnips. Oh, he <laughs> smash into, into the turnip. The turnip, the turnip actually oh, saved his life there. Luckily for. Is that um, uh, she's not going to be able to get turnip gimped that easily no. because of the invincibility coming off the upbeat? Of course, yeah. But you can just get smashed. Ah, and that's a 51% down smash. And that was the percentage even in about two seconds. It, it's crazy when that happens. With two moves. Coming back, I don't know if he can get back from this. No, he what happened there? I thought he was going to float onto the ledge. Not even enough. He actually he used his float uh, coming from the blast zone. Um, so he, all he had left at that point was the umbrella, and he, he couldn't get the height of the umbrella to get the hunt stage. Uh, tried to grab the ledge. Uh, it forced Cheek to get on stage, but. It wasn't punished anyway. There's one thing we saw actually last half, yes, is um, Peach is trying to edge guard a sheep with a teleporter uh, and just getting stunned for it. Uh, yeah. Of course, the damage it puts out as it does the teleport. Um, you've, got, you've, got, you've got to let sheep come back to the edge and punish the get. Yeah, like this. This is what she's doing now. That's yeah. It. Trying to fight her off stage as long as that teleports up, it's not. Uh, good. Oh, the two air dodges! <laughs> Grabs him, lets him get hit by the turnip. Oh, not going to be able to grab the ledge in time. There's no real. Okay, down smash is gonna take it, but there's no real ridiculously fast way for Peach to get onto the stage in time for uh, edge hold and shoot. No. And especially when you risk getting hit by the end of that up. Down smash, and uh, it's not gonna take it. Still have the double jump. Yeah, that's gonna take them high enough. Good float cancel order. That's a stage. Okay, this is where Cone's got to be careful. He's on 60%, he's on his last stock. Oh, and the stitch is gone. Okay. As I, as I set that up. Alright, I've still got to be worried about the variance of other turnips that could happen. We haven't seen any bombs or swords yet. I saw so one beam sword earlier today. I'm not sure if that was on the stream. No, I, I, don't think it was. I don't think we've had that on the stream yet today. Oh, okay. Forwarder, yeah. He's going to take it, but now he's got to try and. Take this last stop at 120% where one forward air, one air, one down smash is probably going to take the stock. The issue is that he needs to play the keep away game and play defensive, but you don't want to do that against Peach's sheet, he'll just pull turn it. Yeah. Um, so it. Forward throw is the eye pretty perfectly. Nice turn him. Manages to get to the ledge, but just had enough on that lucky yeah. back stage. Yeah. That's going to be one game up. <laughs> So, I mean, no, no real dominating play there was fairly even across the board. Yeah. Really. Uh, 
uh, what's the counter pick going to be? Yoshi's? Okay, so it's an easy kill off the side, which is what Sheik's fair is going to help do. Ooh, it doesn't manage to take advantage of the lack of transformation. Yeah, it's unfortunate that, um, of course, Peach excels in a horizontal recovery and she hasn't got room to do that in this stage, so yeah, I, do, I do agree with the counter pick. Yeah. I'm so used to Sheik just being a Marth stage. Uh, it's Yoshi's being a Marth stage. So every time not a Marth takes someone there, I always question it. I think um, in the long term, though, I couldn't think of many better stages for him to go for in this particular match. Yeah, no, I completely agree with this one. Is, is he going to make use of it? That's <laughs> a uh, disrespect chain. It's going to work both ways, though. That down smash is going to kill a little earlier as well if he doesn't get his DI on point. Oh, yeah. And that's what happens. Putting under pressure by turnips, you think there's different ways you can get to stage. Sometimes you just whiff it like that. Yeah. Very Forward air. No, it doesn't manage to convert on that. He's got to watch out for that. Every single time she gets a forward tilt or up tilt, it's going to be looking to be that forward air finisher. It's overshoots the back of the sort of pole. Making use of that really good second jump that he has. Very confident coming back to stage, and he kind of doesn't seem to be a, you know, he catches the back end. DI perfectly into the top right corner and survives. And there's the good read on the up smash. It's going to convert the stock. So, fairly even, only a 35% lead. Oh, the Shy Guy's messing up there. He was going to go for the float away, but the Shy Guy's kept him on the stage. Unfortunately, I currently didn't manage to capitalize off that. Oh, I've, I've got to go. Sherb's got uh, been called by the TO. And okay. we'll have Laura on commentary. Hey guys. Right. I'm doing some photography. Oh, whose control is this? It's amazing. I have no idea who that is. I'm, try I'm trying to commentate. We're supposed to be doing our jobs as sponsored commentators. Okay. That is our job. <laughs> Forward very close to Evan Callum. It's been a really close, like even through the first game. Yeah, no. Who actually won the first game? Uh, Callum managed to take the first game. Oh, good. But that, a lot of it seems just sheerly due to the matchup of Peach having an advantage of the sheet. But yeah, going to convert that stock even with the decent DI the Cone has. Is Pan's Cone or Cone? Cone. Thank God for that. Because <laughs> I've been calling him Cone and I thought, if it's not pronounced like this, I'm going to sound like an idiot. Yeah. Really good uh, to finish off that stock. And that was the stage advantage that we were talking about coming into play. Uh, no real room to get hit to the side. I believe that was a transformation cancel with Randall. I don't really know what's going on. Why don't you come and should be. No. Good conversion from Cal. He's got full stop in now. And the uh, shielded turn of coming back. Is this best of three or best of five? I think it's like, final to best of five, I'm not sure. Cal is really taking the lead now. Callum's improving things. Yeah, he's doing really good here. Yeah. Strange neutral be there, but we'll just assume it was some secret tech that we've never heard of. Trust, S improved as well, but like I said, it's matching. Forward throw. Did it too quickly to forget the DI. Callum takes a fairly clean 2-0. The first game was a little shaky. Cohn did have a pretty decent time there. And even on his counter pick, 